Welcome to this lecture. In this section, we will focus on React Forms. Forms are super important to make an application. We have two goals for this section. First, we will build forms with React. And the second is to understand what the term control component means. So let's start with the basics of forms. HTML form element work differently than other DOM elements in React. In general, forms are a bit different because they have their own internal state. They have data that the form is keeping track of and the form knows about, but the rest of your application might not know about it until you hit submit or click a button or the user hit enter. Some even triggers your code knowing about the data. For example, this is a simple form, which is nothing to do with React, just plain HTML. You have a label and an input, then a button. Usually in traditional application, you have this input. User starts typing something into it and your app might not know about it. It might not be doing anything with the data until you hit add. So let's see an example in action. So here is a simple form and I'm using jQuery and we are listing a submit event on this form. And then we will grab whatever data we needed from the input. And then I'll select input where name is equal to username. And then we will grab the value from that and we'll save it in a variable. So let's give a name of the variable, let user. So the variable name is user and then I'll show a alert message. So here we need to write alert, you entered user and let's run the code. So this is a simple example. So in this case, our code does not know what's inside the input until after we click the button. The submit is triggered and here we prevent the default behavior of the form. So the page does not reload and then we are grabbing the username using dot val. So when I type my name and click on this button, it will give me alert you enter surfers. This is something which we are not going to do in react. The way we create forms is different in React. We don't really have this knowledge gap where you don't know what's happening in a given form until somebody clicks or submit that form. Instead, we involve React State early on. So we have functions that handle the submission of the form and at the same time have access to the data which the user have entered. It is something called control component. There are control component and uncontrolled component. For this course, we will be using controlled component. So let's talk more about control component. As we discussed early, form elements in regular HTML maintain their own internal state and they update it based on whatever the user types in. But in React, we have our own state and it only update with set state. So the question is, how do we use React to control form input state? Let's say a text input to automatically update our React state. So suppose we have username in state and we want to be in sync with the input in the form instead of waiting until the user clicks to grab the value and do something with it. We want React to know right away what the value is in the form every time it changes. So React will control what is shown in the input, but also what happens when the user types something so as the user delete something or type something new or alter something, the state is going to update it. And that's what we mean when we say control component. This input elements are being controlled. So let's see an example. We will write this code in a moment. So this is a form and on submit, there is some event that is called handle submit. But if we look at the input right here, we have a value which is set to this dot state dot full name. So in our state, we have a full name initialized to an empty string. So this input at the beginning will show just an empty input. There won't be anything in there, but this is an important part on change equal to this dot handle change. So every time this input changes, we are calling some method called handle change. What it will do is update the state and update full name every time this value changes. Because on change is going to fired every time, when the user changes anything in the input. Let's see an example in action. Here, this is a form component and inside the form component, there is nothing in it. So let's write some code. Here, I'll give a form tag. And inside the form tag, we'll have input type 
equals to text and this form will display username so before going further we need to add constructor so we need to write constructor and here we need to give props and inside the constructor we will have super and here we need to write props we are not going to use prop but still I am writing it and here we need to have initial value for the username so we can start with an empty string so here we need to write this dot state equals to username and the value will be an empty string and inside the input we will set that value to be value equals to this dot state dot username and anytime the value changes we will write on change method so here we need to write on change equal to and this will call this dot handle change so here the handle change is the name of the function which does not exist yet so here we need to write so here we need to declare handle change handle change and this will take an event object and inside the function we will write this dot set state and we will take the username and update it to be event dot target dot value and we need to bind this function in the constructor so here we need to write this dot handle change equals to this dot handle change dot bind this so coming back on app.js I have already imported form components so let's check the browser so here you can see the input field and uh, let's open the react dev tool so right click inspect and in the application we, we should have react dev tools so let's check the state for this form so if we see the state for the username it is an empty string so let's write something in it so let's write hello and here you can see the username is changing in the state and if I change the value over here inside the dev tools so let's change the value to hello world and if I hit enter you can see that the value has been updated over here at the same time so we have linked them together react knows about any change that happen in here it will automatically update the state because of the code we have written with the handle change so now if we wanted to do something when the form is submitted we have couple of options we can do it when the button has been clicked or we can do it on the form submission so here we we will do it on form submission so here we need to write on submit equals to this dot handle submit this function does not exist yet so we need to define here handle submit and it will take an event object and inside this function we will give an alert message so here I'll write you typed this dot state dot user name and afterward we need to reset the value of username to be empty so here we need to write this dot set state and here we need to write username and it will be an empty string so let's save this code and we need to bind this function in the constructor so here we need to write this dot handle submit equals to this dot handle submit dot bind this and here we need to add a button so we can submit the form so button submit and let's save the code so when we click this button handle submit has been called and handle submit does not grab anything from the form it has nothing to do anything with the input or form or button it just look into the state what's already in our state just because of a handle change because of the way our form has been set up and how it has been controlled by react 
the state is automatically up to date with whatever is in in this input so let's go to the browser and let's check let me close this let's type in something i'll write my name and let's click on submit so here you can see the alert message has been shown you type sarfaraz and the page is refreshing so so let's go to the code and here in handle submit we need to prevent default behavior of the form so here we need to write event dot prevent default and let's save it and let's go to the browser again and let me refresh this and let's once again write my name and if I click on submit it will show an alert message and if I do ok now the page is not refreshing so this was our basic control form so let's just review the flow we have a value attribute on an input and it is set to some piece of state this dot state dot full name so react is going to display the value of state and then anytime that input changes from the user handle change has been called automatically and it sets the state the same exact thing that we are displaying but the painful part about doing all this is that our form gets pretty long and we have to write lot of handle change methods so there is an easy way to make multiple of them that we will discuss in the next video so i'll see you in the next video